Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to generate password protected embeds for your Figma prototypes using the Crypto Figma plugin. And to do that, we first need to install the plugin by going up to the top left hand corner, clicking on the Figma icon and heading over to the community. And in the search bar, if you just type the keyword crypto, one word, that's C-R-Y-P-T-O. And under the plugins tab, you'll see crypto password protection come up. And all you need to do is click on the install button on the right hand side and you'll be ready to go. So once you've done that, you can jump back into your Figma project and mine already has some prototyping links. So if yours doesn't have prototyping links, uh, you might want to go ahead and do that first and create some prototyping in your design. And then we can go ahead and open up the crypto plugin we just installed. So if you just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, and then go down to crypto password protection. If you click on that, it will load up the plugin that we just installed a moment ago. And you can see up here, we've got a little drop down box, which is currently set to Figma prototype. Uh, if you open up this plugin for the very first time, it might default to Figma designs as the option. Um, this option allows you to upload static frames or static designs to the crypto web app, uh, which I cover in another tutorial. But today I'm going to be focusing on the other option, which is for Figma prototype embeds. So if you click on the select box and click on Figma prototype live embed, that option will switch the plugin to show you all of the frames that have prototype interactions on them and gives you a bit of an idea of what's going to be uploaded uh, to the password protected URL. So the first thing we need to do is just click on the share prototype URL button and that's going to bring up some settings down here. Uh, so the first thing you'll need to do is get this URL for your project. And by default, this URL is uh, empty. So there's, there's nothing in there when you open up this file for the first time. Um, but you can see here, it's got some instructions on how to get that URL. Um, so all we need to do is click on the share button in the Figma toolbar up on the right hand side here, this little blue share button. If you click on that, uh, that will bring up this little modal and what you need to do is change this little setting where it says only people invited to this file to anyone with the link. So if you click on anyone with the link, that will change it to show that anyone with the link to the Figma file can view it. And then we want to click on copy link. So there's this little icon down here, copy link, and that will copy the clipboard, uh, copy the link to the clipboard, which we can then paste into our plugin. So I've just cl cl clicked that, copied the link, and now I'm going back into the plugin settings and pasting it. So you can see here, I've just pasted the Figma file URL. So this file URL links to the project that we're currently in and the page that we're currently on. So I've just pasted that in there. And now we've got a couple of options down here. So this will set the prototype options. Um, so we can change the scaling of the prototype. So we can do 100% full size, fit, fill, and scale down. Uh, I'm just gonna use scale down and you'll see we'll be able to change this in the prototype later anyway, but this is just setting the default. Um, the other option that we have is to show the hotspot hints on click. Um, so if you turn this off or disable it, um, it won't show up any of the hints if a user clicks their mouse on any of the screens in your prototype. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that turned on because I do want to show hotspot hints when someone clicks on the designs. And now the last thing we need to do is click on this button, uh, but it's just giving us a little warning, letting us know that clicking the button is going to embed our live Figma prototype on a password protected URL. However, uh, the embed behind this link is technically still viewable by anyone who happens to have that link. So if you've shared that link with someone uh, and you've set it to anyone can view, they will be able to view that link. Um, but if you're sharing the crypto URL that's gonna be generated, then they'll require a password to view that URL. Um, so it's just a bit of a flag. If you need more help with this, uh, we have a documentation link here, which will go into a bit more detail about what this means. Um, but now that we're done, we can click on create prototype URL. So I'm just gonna click on that. And this is now generating a secure prototype URL for us, which we're gonna get uh, now. So we've got this confirmation screen. It's telling us that the secure link is ready and we can copy this secure prototype URL and the password that is generated for us. So I'm just gonna copy the password first. So if I copy that, that will copy the password to my clipboard. 
and then I can go ahead and click on the secure URL and open up my browser. So now that the page is loaded, I can just go down to the password field, paste in the password that I just copied from the plugin and click login. And once this loads, we'll see our Figma prototype embed uh, show up behind this password protected link. So you can see here, I've got my prototype. Um, so because we enabled the hotspots, if I click somewhere, I can actually see that show up and navigate through my design. So we've got all our interactions uh, showing up as you'd expect. Uh, so that's looking really good. So as I mentioned before, there's a way to change the zoom setting. So if you hover up on this little keyboard icon up here, it will reveal the Figma embed uh, shortcuts for viewing the prototype. So we've got change size, so you can use the Z key on your keyboard to change the scale. So if I click on the Z uh, key, you can see that the zoom is going to change based on uh, whatever I set that to. So that's that's how that works. And the other shortcuts we have are resetting the prototype. So I can push the R key to reset the prototype uh, if I want to bring that back to the start. And then I can navigate between screens by using the left and right keys as well. So if I just want to use keyboard navigation to jump through screens, uh, I can do that too. Uh, so that's how that works there. And the last thing we can do is toggle full screen. So if we push the F key, that was that's going to bring us into full screen and we can use the prototype in full screen. And then clicking the S key or escape key on your keyboard uh, will scale that back down to the windowed view. Uh, and finally, if you want to get rid of this little toolbar, you can click on the little hide icon in the top right, and that will remove that toolbar entirely. And you can get that back just by going back up to the right hand corner and clicking on that little I button, just like that. Uh, so that's how that works. So we've got our presentation or our prototype rather uh, in this little embed window. And that's all well and good, but if we want to delete that URL now, uh, there's a couple of ways we can do that. So if we jump back into Figma and ex exit the plugin, and then let's just rerun the plugin. So I can just go plugins, go back down to crypto and open that back up. If we rerun the plugin and then click on the share prototype URL button again, uh, you can see here that it's now remembered our URL and our password that we just uploaded. Um, so if you want to grab those details again without re-uploading the whole um, prototype link, you can just jump back in here and copy those to your clipboard and share them with anyone who you want to be using that URL. Um, if you no longer want that URL, you can click on this little toggle here and that just is going to tell the plugin that you'd like to go about deleting that prototype URL. And again, it's just flagging this little message to let you know that uh, while it will delete the, proto the prototype password protected URL uh, on the crypto domain, um, it's not going to affect the Figma file. So because we already clicked uh, share and changed this setting over here to say that anyone with the Figma link uh, can use uh, the file, if we want to remove that functionality in Figma itself, we can actually change that to only people invited to this file. And if I click on that, and then jump back to my web page. You can see here that it's telling us that the prototype is not found. Uh, it's saying that either the file doesn't exist or we don't have permission to view it. And that's because we just changed this little setting in Figma back to saying that only people invited to this file can view it. And again, that's just to a reminder to say that uh, this, this URL here is password protected, uh, but it's password protecting the embed uh, that's sitting behind it from Figma. So as long as this is not set to anyone with the link and is set to only people invited to the file, uh, then you know no one's going to be able to actually look at that link. So that's one way of removing access. Um, but we can also just completely remove that link entirely. So um, I can do that by clicking on the delete prototype URL in the plugin. So I'll do that now. It's deleting the URL and now the URL has been successfully deleted. So if I jump back into the browser, I'm just going to refresh the page. And you can see here it's telling us that uh, that design actually wasn't found. 
and the URL might be wrong or it's been deleted by the owner. So we know that we've just deleted it, uh, which means that anyone who had that URL and password before will no longer be able to look at that link and will no longer be able to look at your prototype. So that's how that works. And uh, that's really all you need to know for creating and deleting a password protected URL for Figma prototype embeds. And again, I would urge you to read through the documentation if you're unsure of anything. Uh, you'll be able to get to it just by clicking on the link in the upload screen over here. And that should clarify any questions you might have around Figma permissions and just a bit of an overview of how that actually does work behind the scenes. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to password protect your Figma prototype URLs, and uh, you can do it using the crypto password protection plugin uh, right now. So feel free to install it in Figma, give it a try and see if it works for your workflow and your team. Uh, until next time, uh, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back very soon with more tutorials just like this one.